All right, so let's talk about getting your belt set up. Now, I always, I also purchased this online at the same place, windows slash cleaning slash supply.com. And I actually got this pad right here from Home Depot. So I added like a little bit of my own accessories. But anyway, let's start by getting your bucket set up. So here's your hip bucket and boom, just connects just like that. So now that we already have our soapy water, take your strip washer. Um, since we're inside, I'm gonna go ahead and wring this out. Um, remember, you just, just Dawn dish soap, water and Dawn dish soap. And you just put it right into your bucket. Now, if you're working outside or, or um, you wanna keep your bucket or, or your sponge strip washer wetter longer, um, easy thing to do is just go ahead and put your bucket in the water, fill it up, and then attach it to your hip bucket. So, I'll just go ahead and do this for demonstration purposes. Wipe that off. So now that the bucket, the hip bucket's about halfway full of water, go ahead and take your strip washer and place it right in. So that way you're not always having to go back to your main bucket every single time you go to apply water to a window. So there you go. There's a bucket, and then we go for the squeegee. So I just this is my standard 14-inch squeegee. Just place it right in the hip bucket along with the strip washer, and boom, they're both right there on, on the right side. If you're a left-handed, you can also adjust uh, your belt to be on the left side, so you can easily pull your strip washer and your squeegee out whenever you need it. But since I'm right-handed, I keep my bucket and my squeegee on the right side. And then we have our blade. Remember, again, extremely sharp, extremely dangerous, but extremely useful. So you don't want to be, start a window cleaning business without one of these. Always remember not to uh, scrape tempered glass and always remember to keep covered when not in use. And I go ahead and I just pop it into my little holster and button that up so it doesn't fall out, especially when I'm on a ladder. I don't want a blade falling off just anywhere. That could be dangerous. And then remember, you got a steel wool. So quadruple grade. And I only go through about one a day. You do need to change these every single day though because they'll rust and I just put it, boom, in this little pouch. And then for towels, um, let's see here. You can either, a lot of times if I'm like really, really in a groove, I'll just throw my towel on my shoulder and boom, boom, clean the window, bring it off, wipe it off, and throw it back on. But um, I like also to keep them in just like this. And so when you're walking around, you're, they're easy, still accessible. You can pull them in, pull them out. It is kind of annoying though if, if you throw them on your shoulder and you're on a ladder and you're cleaning a window and then they fall off and then it's annoying because you have to climb down. So. Uh, do what works best for you, get the hang of what you want to get good at, and then, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. So we got everything set up, your belt is ready to go, your squeegee, your strip washer is nice and wet, and um, yeah, so that's what setting up a belt looks like, pretty simple.